Hello YouTube, Sri Tips here. Today what I'm going to be doing is processing the uh, silver button that we got from the uh, Alaskan Placer Gold uh, refining with sodium chlorate. I'm going to process this with some hot dilute nitric and see if I can get the gold out of it. In my last video I used hydrochloric acid and sodium chlorate to refine Alaskan Placer Gold. After extracting the gold I melted the residue and recovered okay. this silver button. In this video, I'll extract the silver and recover the gold that it contains. To start this video, I'm going to put the uh, silver button in a 250 ml beaker. Then I'm going to add about a 50 ml of distilled water to it. Now I'll add about 50, uh, 50 ml of uh, concentrated nitric acid. Cover it up, put it on the heat. The silver button has been boiling now in dilute nitric for about 35 minutes. I don't see any fumes. In a minute here, I'm going to take it off the heat, I'll take it out of there, and test it with some acid on a touchstone. See uh, what the gold content of the button is. It's been on there another 15 minutes. I don't see any other uh, big changes. It's uh, other than it's changed color there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off. I'm gonna take this off the heat and uh, take it out of there and test it with some acid. Silver button has turned gold. It may have just had a coating of silver on it. We dissolved that off in hot dilute nitrogen. And this thing's looking more and more like gold. I've got a couple of uh, carat gold testing needles here. One's 14 and the other is 18. To do this test, I'm going to rub some uh, 18K gold here. Then I'm going to rub our sample in the next. Then I'm going to rub the 14K gold over here on the right hand side of it. Then I'm going to apply some uh, 18K gold test acid and see what happens. That's difficult to see, but uh, the 18K test, scratch test is still there. The, the uh, Our sample is gone, and the 14K scratch is also gone. So this is less than 18K gold. I'm going to repeat the test, this time with 14K and 10K test needles. I rub the 14K on the left hand side over here. I'll rub our sample in the middle. Then I'm going to rub a streak of 10K over here to the right. Then I'm going to apply some 14K gold test acid. I don't know if you can see the result there, but the 10K acid is still slightly there, but it's very faint. And the, uh, our sample and the 14K gold scratch look nearly identical. So I'm going to call the gold 14K gold. Okay, I'm going to weigh the button here. It was uh, 8.9 grams before we did that little nitric treatment. And after the nitric treatment, it's 8.8. Uh, .8. So we got a little silver off there, but not much. But uh, we use that to calculate for inquartation. Okay, this is uh, C.M. Hoke's book called Refining Precious Metals Wastes. Page 52 talks about inquartation. It says, you will recall that when 6K gold is treated with nitric acid, it promptly goes to pieces. 
the silver and copper dissolving and the gold remaining as a dark powder. That's because gold will not dissolve in nitric acid, but silver and copper will. This gold powder, after thorough treatment with nitric acid, is frequently of high purity. Many shops therefore make it a practice to melt up all their gold scrap, adding enough other metal to reduce the gold content to 25% or less, that is, to 6K or lower. To calculate the amount of silver I need to import this button, what I need to do is take 14K, divide it by 24, and that equals 0.583. That's how much percent of gold is in a 14K sample. My button weighs 8.8 .8 grams. I multiply that by 0.583, and I get 5.13 grams of pure gold in this 8.8 .8 gram button. Now what I want is one quarter gold and three quarters silver. So what I do is multiply this number by three, one quarter gold, three quarters silver, and I end up with 15.39 grams of silver. But I've already got some silver and base metals in here. To find out how much, I subtract the 5.13 grams of pure gold from the 8.8K button, the 8.8 gram button, and I get 3.67 grams of silver and other base metals. What I do is I move that over here and I subtract it from the amount of silver I'm going to add in court. And I come up with 11.72 grams of silver. However, I want to multiply this number by 0.9 to reduce the amount of silver that I'm going to add down to 10.54 grams of silver. This is how much silver I'll be adding to this button to get a one quarter or 6K sample for the importation. If you take a look at the numbers that I just did on the calculation to import the silver, you'll notice that uh, the, I, I reduced the amount of silver that I put in by a significant amount to increase the carrot of the gold. It's probably up around 28 to 30% gold or up around maybe seven and a half to eight K. The reason I do this is because I don't want those pieces of gold going into a powder. What I'd like them to do is when I treat them with nitric acid to dissolve out all the silver and all the uh, copper that's in there and leave behind nice solid chunks of gold. These are uh, easily handled and uh, don't have to worry about filtering out a gold powder and uh, it just, it's just a pain when you have that gold powder in the bottom of the beaker as opposed to having these nice firm chunks that I have left over after I get done with my importation. Now I'm going to add the, uh, the button here to a melt dish that's been teared on the scale. And I'm going to need 10.4 grams of silver. So I got some sterling silver here. I'm just going to tear the scale out to zero start adding some silver until I get the right amount in there. 10.54 grams is what I'm looking for. 8.3 10.8. That'll work. 10.8 is what we're going to go with on this one. Now I'm going to go ahead and melt the uh, silver and the gold together to form an alloy and pour it in the water there. If that gold is too hot when I pour it in the water, it'll explode and send tiny balls of gold all over my shop. And here's what our imported gold looks like after we uh, pour it in the water. And we'll get the uh, imported gold into a 600 uh, ml beaker here. Next, I'll rinse it out real good with some uh, distilled water.
because the uh, tap water's got dissolved chlorides, chlorine in it, and that'll react with the silver nitrate that I'm about to make with the dilute nitric, forming silver chloride and gum things up. So we want to try and avoid that. So I give it several rinses with the still water here. I'm going to place the uh, encorded gold on the heat over here. I already got that burner turned up. Then I'm going to add the acid that we used earlier. That's 50-50 uh, dilute nitric. 50-50 nitric acid and water. And I'm just going to add that and use that to go ahead and impart the uh, silver out of this encorded gold. The imported gold has been on the uh, heat there with dilute nitric acid for about uh, 10 minutes now. And you can see the uh, beakers full of red fumes, that's what we want to see. That means the uh, dilute nitric is reacting with the silver. This is earlier in the video and you can see the dilute hot nitric had no effect on that uh, button. But when we imported, the dilute nitric can now attack the silver and uh, leave the gold behind. dissolving in the dilute nitric now for about 45 minutes as you can see there's no uh, fumes what happens here is the uh, nitric acid is able to penetrate all the way into those uh, pieces of encorded gold it forms a honeycomb structure as it goes through the encorded gold and dissolves all the uh, base metals and, and silver uh, as it goes it, if you break those pieces open, they'll be crumbly like a uh, honeycomb structure inside. That's how that acid is able to get inside those solid pieces and get the uh, get all the silver dissolved out. This acid is uh, real light blue colored, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour it off into this uh, used nitric acid container here. And I'm going to use this again to dissolve my uh, next batch of imported gold. There's going to be a little bit of silver in here, but there's still some good active acid that can be used on the next batch of, uh, of encorded gold. You can see my encorded gold stayed together in, in chunks. It didn't fall apart into a powder. That's what you want. I'm going to go ahead and give this a rinse. Add the rinse to my uh, silver jar back here. dissolve this in aqua region. You can see here where I poured the uh, nitric acid into my uh, used nitric bottle here and the crystals of silver nitrate came out on the uh, cool sides of the I'm going to add a few ml of uh, hydrochloric acid to the imported gold here that's been parted with nitrate. I guess about 75 ml or so. Just over here on the heat. Cut the heat down on low, don't want to boil that. I'm going to add a few drops of uh, sulfuric acid here. And that's to precipitate out any lead that might be present, just as a precaution. Now I'm going to add uh, about uh, 2 ml or so of uh, concentrated nitric acid to uh, go ahead and start dissolving the gold. Gold has been dissolving in aqua region now for about uh, 45 minutes. There's a total of about 100 ml of hydrochloric acid, and I put 3 ml total of nitric acid in there. I've got two marks on this pipette. The lower mark is one half ml, and that's how much I'm going to try to draw up in here. And I'm going to add that for a total of three and a half ml. gold 
has been uh, heating in Aqua Regia for about an hour and 45 minutes. Got just about everything to go in solution. It's got a few little tiny little grains there left in the middle. Let's see if I can put a couple drops on and get them to go in solution and be done with it. This is the best way to dissolve the gold, uh, adding just drops of nitric acid towards the end. As you can see, I'm going to get those little tiny bits to go into solution with just a few drops of nitric acid. Then I won't have to worry about uh, removing any excess nitric because there won't be any to remove. The gold's been on now for about 2 hours and 15 minutes. I'm going to take it off the heat and set it over here to cool. And uh, now I don't have to waste any time or spend any time uh, denoxing the solution because there's no excess nitric in there to get rid of. So no urea, no sulfamic acid, no uh, classic evaporation and rehydration with uh, hydrochloric acid. Just to cool it down and straight to the filter. I'm going to add about three ice cubes here to get it cooled down so I can go ahead and put it through the filter. Definitely see some silver chloride in the bottom of the container there. My solution is a little cloudy, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, swap flasks and uh, pour the solution back through the same filter. See if I can get it to clear up a little bit. the solution back through that uh, filter paper a second time really cleared it up nicely it looks like it's going to be some pretty pretty pure gold probably close to three nines if not three nines now I'll transfer the gold solution to a clean beaker here and we'll go ahead and precipitate it with stump out Now I'll add stump out, which is uh, sodium metabisulfite, to uh, precipitate the pure gold powder. And we'll get a final yield here. Pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, empty the waste into my stock pot down here. It's getting pretty full. Gonna have to go ahead and uh, go ahead and get that out of there one of these days. A little bit of the gold goes in there. It's fine. Gonna refine that stock pot anyway. Rinse it in the filter with a little bit of hydrochloric acid. Transfer the filter paper with the gold into this melt dish here. And we'll go ahead and add a little bit of borax as usual.
Nice. Nice. Very nice. Here's our gold buttons from the uh, sodium chlorate uh, refining. This is the first button. This is the second one. And this is the third button that, we're, that we uh, recovered tonight from the uh, button of, that I thought was silver, but there was quite a bit of gold in it. I got this button out of it. It's all pure gold. So we're going to weigh it up now and get a final yield. All right, the first button that we got was uh, 7 grams. The second button was, I think it was 6.8. For a total of 13.8. And then our final button out of the uh, silver was uh, 5.0. Got 18.8 grams of pure gold from the 25 grams of placer gold. This should conclude the series uh, on the placer gold, the Alaskan placer gold. Uh, I tried to get. Uh, Try to find a way to get the uh, gold out of the uh, placer gold, refining it with different methods. Uh, what I wanted to try to do was eliminate nitrate completely, but uh, turns out I wasn't able to do that. Maybe I didn't take the right approach or didn't wait long enough. Maybe if I leached the gold uh, in the sodium chlorate for a longer period of time, I might have got a higher yield. Anyway, we're done with this one. we got some more videos coming up. Uh, very soon here uh, with some platinum refining and some uh, jewelers sweeps from a uh, jewelers bench I'd like to thank all my subscribers for uh, tuning in and watching you guys are awesome thanks for uh, thanks for looking at my videos and uh, you have a good rest of the night just wanted to put this end note on here this uh, gold bead that I refined tonight it uh, it weighs five grams and I'm going to be putting this on my eBay store. My username on eBay is Baffelous, B-A-F-E-L-O-U-S. This will be up for a seven-day auction beginning probably later this evening. Thank you.